Good morning. Well, it's a new day. It's a new year. And God has woken us up. That means there's more for us to do. So let's rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. It is great to be with you this morning. And so it's a new year, 2024, and I was thinking about a lot of things and how to make this year better than the last. And I was reminded of an old devotional I shared a couple of years back. It's in regards to a smile. You know, your smile costs nothing. Oh, but it gives a whole lot. A friendly smile. Uh, my bride, Pam, um, her dad always nicknamed her Smiley because she was always smiling. And what a beautiful beautiful smile she has. We read in 1 John 4, 7 through 8. It says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. One of the greatest ways to love someone is is to give them your smile. I came across this little poem, story, what do you want to call it, thought, in regards to what it means to share a smile. And so I'll share it with you and challenge you to share your smile with someone today. A smile costs nothing but gives much. It enriches those who receive without making poorer those who give. It takes but a moment, but the memory of it sometimes lasts forever. None is so rich or mighty that he can get along without it, and none is so poor but that he can be made rich by it. Yet it cannot be bought, begged, borrowed, or stolen. For it is something that is of no value to anyone until it is given away. Some people are too tired to give you a smile. Give them one of yours, as none needs a smile so much as he who has no more to give. So God gave you your smile so you could give it away. Sometimes God uses a simple smile to change the life of someone who, who needs it. Sometimes the first step for sharing your faith is your smile. So who needs your smile today? A smile is an outward sign of an inward affection or love that God has taken over your life and the Spirit is inside of you and you love God, so therefore you should naturally love others and be joyful and smile. So where does 1 John 4, 7 and 8 say our inward love comes from? Well, dear friend, let us love one another, for love comes from God. And one who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. Over in Psalm 67, I'll close with these verses 1 and 2. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face shine upon us, so that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among the nations. So go and share your smile today. It costs nothing, but oh, it gives so much to the person who receives it. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you for this morning, this time together. We thank you for your word. Oh Lord, we thank you for your love. <clears throat> you loved us so much that you gave your son, Jesus Christ. And Lord, to those who 
put their faith and trust in him and follow your word, Father, can have the love of Christ <clears throat> dwell inside of us richly. And Lord, that love will naturally flow out to others around us. Father, may we go forth today sharing that love through the light that we shine to those around us. Lord, sharing that love through our hands and our feet as we serve those who come by us. Lord, serving in love with a smile to those who crossed our path. We love and we thank you. We pray all these things through Jesus Christ our Lord and all God's children said, Amen. Folks, have a blessed day and coffee on.